Hello and good day, you are highly welcome. So let us proceed to solve the first example under the inventory control. Now, there is something I forgot to tell us. Under the inventory control, when a value is not given, huh? when a value is not given, you make, we make use of the average. Like, we use the formula which you have for this average. Remember in the previous video, I told us of average usage, average stock, and average delivery period. So we use that to derive the value that is not given from the previous question or any of the question. So, what we do is this. We have a, a question which says the following information relates to HST Nigeria Limited. You are required to determine the maximum stock level, the minimum stock level, and the reorder level. Whenever a question is being given, please try to read through before you start solving, okay? The management provides you with the underlisted data to determine for the company's requests. The data are we have the reorder quantity 5,000 units, maximum usage 2,000 units, average usage 1,500 units, delivery time average we have two months, and delivery time minimum we have one month. Please remember the terminologies, all right, and the formula I gave us from the first video. So, to solve this, what do we do? Maximum stock, minimum stock, and reorder level. Whenever a question is given under the inventory control, solve for the reorder level first. Solve for it first, because if you remember very well, we will need the value of the reorder level to derive the formula here and here. So, solve for the reorder level first. Let us go. Solutions. So, the first thing we are going to solve is what? The reorder level. The reorder level. This is the first thing we are going to solve, okay? And we remember the formula. Right, up, right under this, you write the formula, okay? And what is the formula for a reorder level? We have a maximum delivery period times the maximum usage. So we have maximum delivery period times the maximum usage, okay? Please don't abbreviate in the exam. I'm only doing this for you to find it easy to remember the formulas, okay? All right? So what is the maximum delivery period in this question? We have delivery time minimum delivery time average there is no maximum we only have maximum usage right which we need here maximum usage now what we do is this this value is not given i remember i told us earlier any value that is not given we use the average to get the value so before we proceed we have multiplied by what maximum usage and our maximum usage from this question is 2000 so we have 2000 now so we need to determine what the maximum delivery period. It is very easy. All you have to do is to make use of the formula for what max for average delivery period, okay? And I gave us the formula in the previous video, which is the maximum delivery period plus the minimum delivery period divided by two, okay? So you just leave like two to three lines. Then you write what average delivery period. So average delivery period. Okay, take note of the steps. So the average delivery period, what is the formula again? To have the maximum delivery period plus the minimum delivery period, right? Divided by what? Two. So from the question, what is the average delivery period? We have delivery time average as two. So we have two is equal to, what is our maximum delivery period? We don't know what it is. That is the value we are searching for, right? So let's just assume it is what? M, okay? So M plus, what is our minimum delivery period? We'll have delivery time minimum as one. So we have one here, okay? So divided by two. Remember, we're working with this formula, right? Remember, we're working with this formula. What we have here, okay? So we'll cross multiply now. We'll say we'll cross multiply. And what do we have? 2 times 2 is equal to 4, right? Which is equal to, we still have what? M plus 1, right? So, we we'll collect the like terms. Collect like terms, okay? So, what are the like terms we have here? We have 4 standing on its own. Now, 1 crosses over, so we have minus 1, isn't it? So, which is equal to 
m. Alright? So 4 minus 1 is what? 3, which is equal to m. So therefore, m is equal to 3. It simply means that our average uh, delivery period which we are searching for, which is our maximum delivery period, is what? 3. So what we do, we bring 3 and we insert it here. So we have 3 here. Okay? So 3 times 2,000 is equal to what? 6,000 units. 6,000 units. And we've solved for the first question. 6,000 units. You see the step? Take good note of it. So let us go to the second question. And the second question here, since we've solved for the reorder, then you can now decide to solve any one you like first. So let us pick the maximum delivery period now. So number two, we say what? The maximum stock level. Maximum stock level. Okay? Maximum stock. Now, what is our formula for the maximum stock? We have what? The reorder level plus the reorder quantity minus, then we we'll open a bracket, we we'll have the minimum delivery period times the minimum usage. So, let's go again. We we'll have reorder level plus reorder quantity minus minimum delivery period, Abby? then times minimum usage. Try as much as you can to remember these formulas. So what is our reorder level? We have solved question number one reorder level and we got 6,000 units. So we have 6,000 plus what's the reorder quantity? In the question, we have a reorder quantity of what? 5,000. So we have 5,000 minus then in bracket. What is our minimum delivery period? And the question, the minimum delivery, delivery time minimum is one month. So we have one times minimum usage. We have maximum usage. We don't have minimum usage. Okay. So since we're searching for minimum usage, we're not making use of what? Average usage. And what is the formula for average usage? Maximum usage plus minimum usage divided by two. Remember the formula. So we're going to search for this value, okay? So let us leave a space and we'll come again. So what do we do? We say, since we're searching for the minimum usage, we'll write what? Average usage. Ravi? Average usage. And what is the formula? The maximum usage plus the maximum plus the minimum usage divided by two. So, what is the average usage in the question? The average usage is 1,500 units. So, we have 1,500, which is equal to, what is our maximum usage? We have maximum usage as what? 2,000 plus, plus the minimum usage. And what is the minimum usage? It is not given. And that is exactly what we are searching for, the minimum usage. So, let us follow the same process. Let us assume our minimum usage to be m. So we have m divided by 2. We follow the same process with what we did here. We'll cross multiply. You see? We'll cross multiply. Now when we we'll cross multiply, what did we do? We said 2 times 1, 5. And it gave us us what? 3,000. It is equal to, this is now starting on its own. So we have what? 2,000 plus m. All right? So, we we'll collect the like terms. Collect like terms. Now, when we we'll collect the like terms, what do we have? This is 3,000, right? So, we we'll have 3,000. Now, 2,000 crosses the sign of equality. It goes over to meet. We we'll have 2,000. Or 3,000 comes rather. Anyhow. Now, 3,000 minus 2,000 equal M. Okay? So, 3,000 minus 2,000 gives us what? 1,000 which is equal to M. So therefore, M is equal to 1,000. So it simply means that this 1,000 is not the value for our what? The minimum usage, okay? So what do we do? We'll come over to this place. We'll have what? 1,000. We'll continue. 6,000 plus 5,000 is what? 11,000 minus, what do we have? 1 times 1,000 is 1,000. So, 11,000 minus 1,000. What do I have there? 
it is equal to 10,000 and our final answer will be in units. So question number two, the answer is 10,000 units. Watch the process, watch the steps. Watch the same step I took here. You can see it is the same thing, right? Now, we are done with question number one with the reorder level. We are done with maximum level. Let us solve the third one, which is the minimum stock level. The minimum stock level. The minimum stock level. So, let us proceed. To solve this question, number three now, we write the formula as usual. We're solving for minimum stock level. Minimum stock level. So what is the formula for the minimum stock level? We have what? The reorder level minus, then we have a bracket open. Then we have the average delivery period times average usage. Remember this formula, okay? Reorder level minus average delivery period times average usage. So what is our reorder level? In the first question when we solved, our reorder level was what? 6,000. So we have 6,000 minus average delivery period. We have average usage. We have delivery time minimum. We have delivery time average. So our average delivery time is what? Two months times average usage. We have our average usage as what? One five. So, no need to go through the steps because everything we need are already in the question. So, what is the next thing we do? 6,000 minus 2 times 1,5 is equal to what? 3,000. So, 6,000 minus 3,000 is equal to what? 3,000 units. And with this, we are good to go. Alright? So, the first video, the introductory video under the inventory control is very, very important. Watch that video and practice well. Try it as much as you can to remember these formulas. It will go a long way to help you to solve whatever kind of question you see under the inventory control. I'm going to solve one more example in order to help you understand this very well so you can attempt several questions. Meanwhile, remember to visit our website. There are lots of questions under the inventory control for you to attempt. Then you give us feedback through mail or through our WhatsApp line. We wish you the best in all you do and do have a wonderful day. Thanks for being a loyal subscriber because I know you've subscribed to us on the YouTube. Do have a good day. Bye.